Alright everybody, what we're going to be working on is we're going to be moving into a series of kicking higher. So over the next two or three weeks, we're going to be mainly 100% focused on making our kicks raise up. That's going to be our theme for the rest of the month of May, is going to be moving our kicks from lower to higher, alright? So our warm-ups, our stretches, our... Um, our drills are all going to be with that one thing in mind, okay? So that's the goal that we're going to set. Remember, a goal is something you have to work to achieve. This is going to be very difficult, but at the end, your kicks should improve drastically, okay? So first, we're going to bow in, face front, go treat it, could you? All right, so first drill we're going to do is we're just going to get moving. Mr. Martin, he's going to be there in the center. He's going to start picking his knees up on each side, just trying to loosen up his hips a little bit and also working on getting his knee as high as he possibly can. Okay? Ready? In 30 seconds, go. Good. So again, you're just switching from one side to the other side. Knee up really high. All of these drills we're going to work on are going to be incredible drills if your goal is to truly get better at kicking. Kicking is a skill that's developed over a lot of practice, a lot of hard work, and a lot of time. All right, so five more seconds, guys. You should be doing everything Mr. Martin is doing. All right, now what you're going to do, all right, is you're going to freeze for a second. We are now going to go from the inside to the outside. So we're picking up our knee inside to outside. Then you're going to switch other side, inside to outside, doing a circle with each one of your legs. Your goal is going to be to keep the knee high the whole time and then drop once you finish your outward motion, okay? This is going to help build up your hip flexors. Ready? And go. 30 seconds. So again, knee high the whole time is our goal. With this drill and the next drill, it's going to be very important that that knee stays up very, very high, okay? So you guys are already about halfway done. We're really doing this kind of for a warm up, but also as a strength building drill, okay? Now, the last 10 seconds, I actually want you guys to slow down. So slow down, there, cross. That way you start to develop the control of holding your knee. A lot of the training we're gonna be doing is not fast training, it's actually gonna be slow training, okay? Now we're gonna do the same drill, but we're gonna go from the inside to the outside for 30 seconds, okay? So you're just going to move from the outside of your body to the inside of your body, dropping your knee. Get ready and go. From inside to outside, or outside to inside, my bad. Outside to inside. Good. Keep your knee up really high. Knee up really high, coming across your body. You got it. Knee up high. All the way. You guys are about halfway done already. Good. Keep going. Stay focused. Anytime that you guys are trying to achieve a goal, you always have to have a lot of focus in achieving that goal. All right, and freeze right there. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do, again, is going to be 100% just trying to get our kicks up higher. So you're going to do swinging stretch kicks. You're going to go up and then down. Then you're going to go a little higher. Then you're going to go a little higher. Then your goal is going to be to get that knee all the way up to your shoulder at the end of this, okay? So we're going to go 15 seconds one side, 15 seconds the other side. Get ready, and go. Down and up, down and up. All right, now switch your feet. Other side, exact same thing, go. All the way up, all the way down, try to keep that leg nice and straight. There we go. Knee comes all the way up. And down. All right, now we're going to do the same concept except for now with the side kick. So you're going to be out to the side. So you're going to be pivoted. Your body's going to be up like this. And then you're going to go here, swinging out to the side as you do this, okay? Starting out lower and then getting it up higher, seeing how high you can get that side kick to swing. All right? Ready? And go. One leg, forward, and then back out to the side. Be very careful not to fall over this way. I do recommend for some of these drills, if you need to, you can use a chair, all right? However, it's not really necessary. All right, switch your feet. Go to your other side, swinging forward and then backwards. Alright, 
now we're going freeze. All right, now this next one, we're going to be doing the exact same concept with our knee, except for we're going to be extending our foot. So we're going to be doing outer crescent kicks across our body, all the way out. Our goal is height, though, to where that knee comes all the way up next to your face. Don't kick yourself in the face, okay? Get ready. 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. Ready, go. All the way across. There we go. Then get even a little bit higher. Pull your knee right up to your face. All right, then we got five more seconds on that side. Then everybody switch. Other side, go. Knee up and across. Nice and easy, then really intense. 10 seconds. Five seconds. And relax. Now, last drill we're gonna do for our warm up is we're gonna go from the outside to the inside with our foot. When you do this, in order to do it properly, you have to turn your hips. You can't keep your foot sideways. You have to turn your hips just a little bit and pivot your bottom foot as you do the kick. It's very important. So when Mr. Mark does it, pay attention to that piece. Ready, 30 seconds, and go. And out. Good, so pivoting the foot a little bit. There we go. This is an inner crescent kick. All right, these are great drills in order for you guys to get better, especially if you're working on um, intermediate and advanced forms. All right, switch feet. Other side, exact same thing. Inner crescent kicks, and then we will be done with our warm up. From the outside to the inside. Outside to the inside. Excellent, and freeze right there, okay. Go and face the front, go to you. Come here. All right, everybody, we are gonna continue um, moving forward with our higher kicks and our goal to have higher kicks. So we're gonna do a bunch of drills. First thing that you guys need is you guys are gonna need a chair or you're gonna need a wall. Um, I'm probably gonna switch between a chair and a wall just to show you guys, even if you don't have a chair that works really well, you can use the wall, you'll be just fine. However, a chair is probably gonna be a little bit more comfortable because you can move your body slightly past the chair, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to be doing pulsing kicks. So Mr. Martin, he's gonna be taking his, um, his hand here, then he's gonna be sticking his foot all the way out to the side. All right, now with this, He's going to be having a side kick position, all right? We're gonna do three pulses, and then we're gonna to switch to a round kick position, okay? So that way you're working on two things. One is you're working on pointing your foot, and then you're working on pulling your toes back, getting you guys better foot positions. This is gonna be very easy for some of you, very difficult for others. So depending on what you're, you're strong at and weak at, okay? So Mr. Mark, he's gonna go here, he's gonna go side kick, Pulse position, he's gonna go one, two, three. Then he's gonna point his toes. One, two, three. All right, make sure you're following along at home with us, okay? That's gonna be our drill. We're gonna do our left side, then our right side, okay? So stick your foot all the way up. Ready, side kick position, go one, two, three. Round kick position, one, two, three. Side kick position, ready, go one, two, Three, round kick position. One, two, three. Side kick position. Go one, two, three. Round kick position. One, two, three. All right, now we're only doing five of these, all right? So we're three in, okay? So ready? Go side kick position. Go one, two, three. Round kick position. One, two, three. All right, now we got one more. This one, I want to see if you can make it your highest one yet. Okay? Ready? Side kick position. Hold. Go one, two, three. Round kick position. One, two, three. All right, now let's switch. We're going to move our chair over here. All you guys have to do is switch sides. Other side, starting out with that side kick position. Ready? Side kick position. Hold. Go one, two, three. Round kick position. One, two, three. That's one. Ready, go side kick position, go one, two, three, round kick position, one, two, three. Now, we are on number three, let's raise it up just a little bit more. Ready, go side kick position, hold, go one, two, three, round kick position, one, two, three. Now, number four, ready, go side kick position, one, two, three, round kick position, one, two, three. Uh, this is our last one, let's raise it up really high. Ready? 
Side kick position. One, two, three. Round kick position. One, two, three. All right, now that is going to be our first drill. All right, we got a couple more drills coming up. All right, guys, next we're going to get stretched out. So, first thing you guys are going to start with are lunges to the side. So, you're going to start with your left knee up. You guys are going to push forward onto your left knee, dropping your back hip as low as you can before. Okay, try not to lean forward and lean your chest over your leg. Stand really tall and drop your back hip to your right. Good. Once you start to get comfortable, try to push even further. Good. Then over to the other side. Right knees up. Push your back hip to the ground. Good. Then try to go even further. Good. Next, you're going to switch back over to your left side. You are going to straighten your leg this time, and you are going to lean forward, and you're going to bow towards your knee. Okay, we're going to hold this one for a little bit longer, try to get our chest to our knee. So now you guys are going to try to drop lower. Good, grab onto your foot if you can, then drop even lower. Now try to get your nose to your knee and hold. Good, other side. Straighten your right leg, back towards your knee. Good, try to drop even lower. Even lower. Grab onto your butt. Try to get your nose underneath. Good and relax. Next, you guys are going to put your left leg out to the side in front of you. Okay, your knees back in front. You're going to take your hands and you're going to plant them in front of you as well. You are going to try to drop your shoulder below your knee. Now your goal here is to get your forearms to the mat, but ease into this one. So go really slow, hold. Good, make sure you guys are breathing, try to relax your muscles and go even lower. Good, once your shoulder is below your knee, hold this position. Good, and come up, switch your feet. Right knees out to the side. Hands planted, and drop your shoulder below your knee. Hold. Good, drop your forearm. Other side. Good, and relax. That is gonna be our stretching. All right guys, for our next drill here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our control going forwards and backwards. So first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your chair, you're gonna pick your knee up. Now you're gonna walk your foot straight out. Now we're gonna do a side kick position for this. We're gonna go forwards and backwards. That's gonna be one. Then we're gonna pulse forward, backwards, that's gonna be two. Then forwards, backwards, three. Forwards, backwards, four. Forwards, backwards, five. Forwards, backwards, six. Forwards, backwards, seven. Forwards, backwards, eight. Forwards, backwards, nine. Forwards, backwards, and ten. Now you're gonna switch your feet. Other side, the exact same thing. You're going to pick your knee up, Chamber, side kick, then go forwards, backwards one, forwards, backwards two, forwards, backwards three, forwards, backwards four, 
Tune B for form number one. Left leg steps forward into a front stance. Left low block. Right number two front kick. Land forward in a right front stance. Left reverse punch to midsection. Right punch to midsection. Left leg steps forward to a left front stance. Left punch high section. Right foot moves to a middle stance. Right knife hand strike to midsection, key up. Right number three side kick, land in a right front stance. Right inner form block. Left foot steps into a left front stance, left punch to high section. Right leg steps forward into a right front stance, right low block. Left number two front kick, land forward in a left front stance. Right reverse punch to midsection. Left punch to midsection. Right foot steps forward into a right front stance. Right punch to high section. Left foot moves to a middle stance. Left knife hand strike to midsection, key up. <coughs> left number three side kick, land in a left front stance. Left inner form block. Right foot steps forward into a right front stance. Right punch to high section. And burrow. Shut it up. Can you? 